Hello and welcome. I'm Geo Sam, your GIMP know-how guy. And today's video, I'm going to show you how to make an animated brush or what's known as an a GIMP uh, image hose or a GIMP image pipe. Either way you say it, it's the same thing. It's a, a GIMP animated brush. Now I have an example of some uh, animated brushes that I'll show you to give you an idea of what an animated brush is and what it does. I have some folders that I put inside my brush brushes uh, folder that adds these uh, different tags here so I can easily find all my animated brushes. So we'll go and we'll hit the GHI folder and it brings up all my uh, GH, I mean GIH uh, files which are animated brushes. Let's find a, a decent one here. So I believe that's the Apple brush. This is the brush I made earlier. I'll show you, show you what that looks like. So if we just wanted to paint with this, I'll create a new layer on this image here which we're going to use. Uh, so the size you could see here is 246 by 242. So if we come up here and put this to 246, go 246, that's about approximately the same size. Now I have this my brush dynamics set to a basic, I mean simple, basic simple here as you can see. Or maybe you can't see. Over here, I have my brush dynamics set to basic, simple. Now I want to turn that off, put it uh, to dynamics off. But let's get to making this brush. And what I'm going to do is come to this layer here where the apples, I've separated them from the image ahead of time. And we're going to, I'm going to be uh, selecting each one and placing it on their own layer. Now I'm using GIMP 2.8.18. 2.10 this is basically done the same way except the selection when you make a selection using the free select tool. In GIMP 2.10 if you go around to make a selection with the selection tool and you, you connect it, it doesn't automatically um, create the um, dancing ants or it doesn't automatically go into a selection you have to hit enter once you connect the ends of your selection with the uh, free hand select tool or the free select tool so just remember that for 2.10 but otherwise the procedure is the same for 2.10 as it is in 2.8 Anyway, let's start. I'll start by cutting this out. Ed edit, cut, and we'll paste it onto this layer. Edit, paste. I'll just do that again. Edit, undo clear. Edit, I cleared it. Uh, cut. Instead of cutting it. Edit, paste. Edit, paste. Now I pasted this layer. Now we want to anchor this layer. So we go... Um, layer and we select anchor. And now that layer is anchored. Now uh, we could have moved it beforehand so we'll, we'll go edit on anchor and select the move tool and put it on move active layer which is this top layer here and move, we'll move it somewhere near the center right there and then we'll uh, select layer anchor. Now we'll do this for all the other apples. So I'll take the freehand select tool and create a selection around. Connect it and select edit, cut, not clear. Create a new layer, right click on the, the layer, the most topmost layer and select um, new layer. 
and this is leave it at default, which is, which is transparent, and click to, click OK, and go edit, paste, and then move, then click on the apple you just pasted and move it over somewhere near center, say right there. And as you see, I move if I move off the apple, you'll see an anchor. That anchor on the uh, tool there denotes that you can anchor this layer. So we'll anchor that by clicking the canvas. Now what I'm going to do continue doing this until we have all five layers of each apple. So I'll continue this, cutting these out, selecting each one and cutting them out. Edit, cut, new layer. OK, edit, paste, paste. As you can see here, it says C, control V, C, T, R, L, plus V. We can use this. If we, if we, we press control V, it pastes it in. And to anchor, we click the canvas, unless we want to move it so we go now we can uh, layer auto crop this layer and, and move it all over to where we want it in GIM 2.10 I believe uh, layer auto crop is not is not there it's uh, layer crop to content I believe crop to content which isn't here in 2.10 but auto crop is the same thing as crop to content in uh, GIMP 2.10 anyway we can go back to layer to image size just for continuity now we have one more apple to cut out and it's this one so we'll just select our uh, freehand select tool or free select tool make our our selection and click edit and cut create the last layer new layer don't have to name these layers and go control v pastes it in and anchor we want to ink we want to move it move it to there now we want to move this last apple this one here want to move that so we'll select that and we'll edit cut that and edit paste it back into the same layer and move it say over to here and click the canvas with the uh, anchor icon and that anchors it in place now I'm going to delete the, all these layers don't need these delete and delete now this is what we have here we have one two three four five layers We have five layers. They're not all named correctly, but that's not really necessary. In any case, I'd like to uh, crop this uh, in the entire image. So I'm going to grab my uh, rectangle select tool and put out a uh, rectangle selection around our apples as close as we can get to each side of the apple of one of the apples here that looks pretty good yeah now I'm going to uh, crop this so we go image crop to selection I believe there's crop to, to selection in, in uh, GIMP 2.10 so now we have the image is cropped to our selection and now all the layers are the same size great okay now uh, this is the beginning of our brush I'll change the preview size to extra large and now we want to save this as a, as a GHI it's going to look similar to this brush here that I just clicked on. So we want a, a GIH, excuse me. Uh, so we go File, 
export as apples two put a underscore in there and we want to change the uh, file extension to GIH which is GIMP image hose it's also a GIMP um, animated brush which it's also commonly known in, uh, known as and it's also commonly known as an image pipe but an image pipe an animated brush and a GIMP image hose is the same all the same things now if we just click export this dialog should come up. I just lost it for a second. There it goes. This dialog should come up. And the spacing percentage is by default 20, which uh, is the spacing for each uh, between each of the images of each layer so 20 is by default I usually leave it at default now you name it well of course I'm going to name it apples underscore 2 now this is the dimensions which is what the dimensions are for all of our layers there's five layers in all and which is known as numbers of cells for an animated brush or a gimp brush pipe as it says up here and dimensions normally if you want to know more about dimensions about what the dimensions are for the brush you can go to uh, the gimp.org documentation I'll have this in the description this uh, is the gimp documentation website where you can find just about anything, any kind of information on GIMP that you would want to know, especially uh, about brushes. This has a lot more information about the dialogue for the uh, um, animated brushes or the GIMP brush pipes or the. So anyway, we'll get back to the dialogue here. We're going to leave dimensions at one, which is the the default dimension and. The ranks we want to set to five because we have five cells so we want five rankings and you can either set them at random to paint randomly it, as you paint it will choose a, a cell randomly you can do it incrementally which means it will paint one after the other if you start if it starts it starts with the first one which is the bottom layer and it paints incrementally all the way to the fifth layer and then it continues angular has to do with the brush location on the canvas if you if it'll if you paint click and paint and go to the left it'll select the brush which is furthest to the left and then if you go to the right it'll select the brush that's furthest to the right and so on and all these other words are for these other settings are for um, tablets if you use a tablet I don't use a tablet any longer and so we're I want it to be incremental so it paints one after the other so and now I'm gonna go export it's gonna export it to my downloads folder to uh, files XCF files that I have here and now I'm going to go and I'm going to save it again because I want I didn't want to save it actually save it to that folder so we export and I want to save it to my GIMP brushes so I go to where my GIMP brushes are which are right here and there's a folder called GIH and I'm going to save it to there and this is the exact same dialog that we filled out earlier and I'm just gonna click click export now I've exported this now I as you can see I already have an apples folder here red apples 
and if I click the um, refresh button we should find another apples there it is right there apples 2 there it is so we'll click on new canvas and we'll click on the brush and begin to paint as you can see it's painting all our apples we can fill the entire canvas with apples we can clear this and we can make our brush smaller we get smaller apples and that's pretty much it how you make a an animated brush or a gimp image uh, gimp uh, image hose or a gimp brush pipe